Topping our news, Tennessee State Representative Mike Carter of Ottawa is in the intensive care unit at Erlanger battling coronavirus. Our Jake Chapman is outside Erlanger with more on this story. Jake. Well, David, Representative Carter posted his current condition on Twitter this morning, and he says he's thankful for the support from the community as he continues his battle with COVID-19. Carter posted on Twitter Monday morning, feeling better this morning, but expecting ups and downs during recovery. Sincere thanks to the wonderful staff here at Erlanger and for all of the prayers and well wishes. As he continues his fight against COVID-19 at Erlanger's ICU, Carter is the second known state lawmaker to test positive for the virus within the last week. The news of Carter's hospitalization has local and state leaders voicing their concerns for the Ottawa representative. Tennessee Secretary of State Trey Hargett posted, Glad you're feeling better this a.m. We'll be keeping you in our prayers. Representative Robert Smith tells Channel 3, praying for him and his wife. He's a fighter. Hamilton County Sheriff Jim Hammond says he hopes Representative Carter gets well soon and returns to good health. Carter, along with Sheriff Hammond, were some of several prominent Republicans who attended Hamilton County's Lincoln Day dinner several weeks ago, where there was a confirmed exposure. Many of them were criticized for not wearing masks during the event. Carter posted this photo of himself alongside now U.S. Senate Republican nominee Bill Haggerty, saying in part, had a great time tonight at the best Lincoln Day dinner in Tennessee. We asked Bill Haggerty his thoughts on the news. His campaign spokesperson tells us, quote, Bill, Chrissy, and their family are continuing to pray for Representative Mike Carter and his family. Now, it isn't clear if Carter contracted the virus at that event. We did ask the Hamilton County Republican Party their thoughts on Carter's battle and if they felt responsible for not forcing the mask mandate inside at that event. We have yet to hear back. For now, I'm live in Chattanooga. Jake Chapman, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.